It's time once again for that business show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ, where business becomes show business. Now, live in studio and promoting the entrepreneurial spirit that drives the American economy, your host, Jamie Maloney. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Hope everybody's off to a great Monday start here. And uh, as always, you can catch this show here weekdays at 8 a.m. here on 1250 WHNZ. So I invite you to please tune in. Each and every weekday and uh, kick off the day right with a good positive message as this show is all about business ownership, entrepreneurship, and people making a difference in and around the Tampa Bay community. Each and every day I have uh, one, uh, two, sometimes a little bit uh, more guests in uh, studio with me, but each and every day we're talking about uh, what business owners are doing in and around the Tampa Bay and regional communities. And uh, you can learn more about this show over at tampabayradio.com. And also you can uh, catch past shows on that site as well. You also notice over on that uh, site, I sell real estate as well. So you'll see a number of property listings as well as all my pre-listed properties. I'm a uh, bank-owned property specialist. And uh, with uh, bank-owned listing agents, the properties are uh, assigned to us by our bank clients uh, weeks to months of in advance of actually hitting the uh, local uh, multiple listing service. And uh, so you can find those over on the uh, website, uh, tampabayradio.com and uh, begin to conduct your due diligence on these properties uh, before they hit the market. And on the uh, home page, you'll see a, a, a link to that. It says pre-list properties right there on the uh, main page. Also, uh, you can catch past shows on demand, uh, iTunes. Uh, just search for That Business Show. And I'm all over the uh, social media outlets. Uh, all the shows are streamed live. So in addition to catching the live stream over on TampaBayRadio.com, you can catch the uh, show up on my YouTube channel after uh, the show. And uh, the audios are available on SoundCloud and uh, also, as I said, on iTunes. I've um, got a great uh, show planned for you today. I've got one guest in studio. Frank Matola is going to be talking with us here in just a minute. So today's show, we're going to be talking all about SEO and, and website marketing and what you need to know to uh, position your website effectively to uh, get noticed on the web. So let me go and bring him in. Uh, Frank Matola is the founder of Brandtastic, a marketing company that works across the United States. Brandtastic is a small but powerful agency with over 30 years of experience, and Frank demystifies what it really takes to get better results on the web. He is one of the few real experts on SEO and has an extensive track record of delivering top results for all of Brandtastic's clients. As more and more companies feel the need to rank well on Google, SEO, which stands for Search Engine Optimization, is quickly becoming the new currency of marketing success. Frank, welcome to the show today. Thanks, Jamie. So let's open up with what SEO is. I mean, we hear that acronym used uh, a number of times, and uh, but let's. Uh, a lot of people I find don't know what that is. I I, I thought yeah. that was kind of common knowledge amongst uh, well, a business owners. A lot of people think they know what it is, and uh, there's a lot of uh, things talked about that aren't true. So rumors spread, and you know you meet meet SEO experts all over the place, but. The reality is, is there there are set things that go into SEO, which is just positioning your website, like you said, so that it does rank well on Google. So they have basically over 200 different things that they measure. Some of them are quite easy to uh, take care of. Some of them are more technical, but it's just a matter of doing all the right things in the right order and being consistent about it, and you will end up with higher rankings. Yeah, I mean, you hear SEO and, and Google, uh, but does SEO also uh, carry over to the other search engines? You always hear about placing on Google. Oh, of course. But talk to me about uh, the use of SEO. Does it change with the other search engines, or is, is there a certain languages you've got to know to deal with just Google? No. All of the uh, things you need to do will work on all the search engines, and the reality is if you rank well on Google, you're probably going to rank well on Bing and Yahoo. Now, Yahoo uses Bing's search engine so really there's only two players in the game because all the other smaller ones don't amount to more than three percent of search and I always talk about Google because Google is typically about 68 percent right now and then Bing and Yahoo split the rest they're so pretty even right about now. You say Yahoo uses Bing's search engine. You mean they have their algorithm, the same? So yep, the same it, results. Same results, exactly. Is that something, because Yahoo was in place before Bing. Bing yeah. is something that came to market. It's a I fairly think. new agreement. Okay. But there is a difference in the local results. So they will have different local results. And 
And when we talk about SEO, there's actually two different types of ranking. One is organic and one is local. They each take a different uh, protocol to get results from. Yeah, and I hear that term a lot. Let's, let's, let's go back over to, to let's, go, let's carry on that topic sure. right there, organic results. You hear a lot about that. Talk to me about what it means to have a, a organic results. Okay, well, it has nothing to do with fertilizer, but... I figured that, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, if you'll look at the results on a page, you'll see at the ads at the top. That's what Google wants you to do, is to pay for ads. The whole right side is ads. And then you'll either see a local result or an organic result. The local result will have a teardrop that's tied to a map, and there'll be a listing of local companies. The organic will just be based on your website, and it will, sometimes it's above, sometimes it's below the local results. It can vary from day to day. But it's basically all tied to the strength of your website, the content on your site, the links pointing to your site, and your social media signals. Okay, so let's, let's, let's start with this, a basic uh, entry-level site that somebody uh, gets on WordPress or, or they go to GoDaddy and then they build a, a new site. <clears throat> what are some of the key things that they need to know about SEO to, number one, make it place better? Obviously, being a new site, it's, they're going to be lucky if it you know, pops up you know, into yeah. the search engines at all. So what are some of the tips that uh, people you know, building their website for the first time need to know with regard to search engine optimization? Well, making a choice to use WordPress is a great tip right there. What it's is a, it about WordPress? I mean, it's an easy to use uh, site, uh, to, but is it does it somehow does it talk to the, Google the search likes engine? It. Google likes it. Yeah. Is there is there something we don't know between the you know, no? Google it's just WordPress? very efficiently built. It's open source. It's always improving. It's free. Uh, it's a content management system. It allows clients to go in and edit. There's plugins that can help with SEO. There's one I'll mention that's from Yoast. It's an SEO plugin. It makes it very easy to change the meta tags. Which, no, meta tag, that's a, that's a term I Yeah, see. we're getting going from one thing to the yeah, next. Let's, uh, go Before ahead, we go get ahead. too far off track, I want to go back to the uh, organic results. Okay. They're so important because when you look at the page, you may think, okay, I'm going to use ads. Well, MOZ, a very reputable source, Last year, I produced a study that said only 23% of the people are going to click on an ad. So over 70% of the people are going to click on those organic results on that first page. So if you're not there, you're losing business. Wow. So how does social media uh, play into uh, the, the SEO content? Does uh, having a Facebook page and Twitter and all that stuff help drive uh, you know, results to your, your website yeah. also? It actually does. Google has been saying for years now that they are going to measure this, and they've finally actually started doing it. So they measure things like shares and tweets and retweets. And, uh, you know, they're not too friendly with Facebook, but they still do. They measure bookmarking. This is just another factor that they use in their algorithm. And it's going to become more important because user-generated content on social media really drives sales decisions. People believe what they read from a friend on Facebook much more than any ad. So even if you're not talking about an SEO perspective, social media is extremely important. One thing that I have uh, good luck with are the uh, show streams, the live video, or not the live videos, but the, the videos from my YouTube channel. Yeah. Whenever I'm doing searches for myself and my website, the YouTube videos pop up yeah. before the other things. Is there something about YouTube and videos and SEO that, that, that Google likes? Of course. They own it, right? So. Right. But is, is, uh, is that something that people need to focus on also, video content versus... Absolutely. Okay. There's a lot of things that need to be done, as, as I mentioned. YouTube is an, a great way to rank. If you have a, a, a video that ranks on the first page, even if it's not number one, you're going to get a lot of clicks because people love video. Mm -hmm. And actually, YouTube is the biggest search engine of all, and people go to YouTube to search 
what they're looking for. Yeah, how a lot of people do don't realize something. that. Yeah, that YouTube. I, you're saying it's. I always thought Google was still number one, and then YouTube. Are you saying YouTube? Well, in front of, I think it's. In the I think YouTube after how you parse Google. the data. You know. Yeah, but no, no, you're right. Uh, YouTube is definitely a a big source uh, for uh, search uh, search queries. Absolutely, uh, people don't realize that. But I, I, you know, I constantly, you know, am looking at the results of you know my own you know, website analytics, things like that, or googling my site and different things. And the YouTube yeah. videos always pop up. It's so just, don't forget to put a link back to your website at the top of your description and then write a detailed description. You can also actually add a transcript to it for the hearing impaired so that you can have all those written words which Google indexes. The more views you get, the better off you're going to be and build a channel. You have a channel, right? So yeah, you have all these... You're going to be ranking very well. In yeah, a, short a time. lot of stuff does. You come got up. it covered. I mean, you're on social media. You're you're really doing a good job, Jamie. No, I appreciate that. Yeah, I do put a lot of effort into the show and the repurposing of the material. People that know me well see my stuff all over the place, and I've learned some pretty good uh, tricks to get the information out effectively and efficiently because, as I tell people uh, on each of my shows, this is not my regular job. I come in here every morning, I don't do, know a how you show, do, it. do a show five days a week, <laughs> and then I go sell real estate the rest of the day, and I carry a couple hundred listings, and my phone rings off oh. the hook and emails. So efficiency is one of my strong points, and uh, so every time I do something, I always think to myself, how can I do this more efficiently so I don't waste as much time the next time doing that? It's the same technique I employed in real estate and why I, when people ask me how I did so well in real estate, it's because every time I did something, I thought, how can I do this more efficiently each and every time? And it's the same technique that I use right now on the radio show as well and uh, yeah. something that you know business owners should be thinking about. Anytime that you're constantly... Um, Saying the same thing, for instance, say you've got a bunch of employees and you're constantly giving instructions on something. You've got to get that on video. You, you've got to have some type of video that says, here, right. go here to, to learn this. And, and those types of things, you know, save you time. I see people running around working until 1 and 2 o'clock at, at night, and I still go to bed every single night at 8.30. I'm not up in the middle of the night working. <laughs> you're so. not a night all. No, no, I really am not. So i uh, got to take a quick break, uh, but coming back from the break, I want to hear about the history of your company, and you can learn more about Frank Matola and his uh, company over at Brantown. Fantastic1.com. And if you're just tuning in, you've been listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Are you looking for a local real estate firm that knows the market and has your interests in mind? Then contact Jim McPeak at McPeak Real Estate Firm, a family-owned business whose agents have over 60-plus years of experience in the Tampa Bay market. Many of the agents are military veterans that know the VA process for buying a home and are proud to help our military members in any way they can. From residential to commercial real estate, McPeak Real Estate Firm is here to help. Contact Jim at 813-495-3875 and learn more at McPeakTeam.com. Bud Spriggs and Movement Mortgage want you to experience the thrill of one-day underwriting and the comfort in knowing your loans will be clear to close in record time. While a competition looks to a lost closing date, Bud Spriggs and Movement Mortgage focus on their 12-day clear to close. They do this by utilizing their world-class operations staff to underwrite your loan within six hours, process your loan in 12 days, and have your loan closed in time. Underwritten in six hours, cleared to close in 12 days. Bud Spriggs and Movement Mortgage. Hey there, it's Lynn Wise, the founder of Wise Business Advisors and Contractor Business Alliance. I'm a certified value builder advisor, and I help business owners build a company that will allow them to have the business that they dreamed of when they started. Why did you go into business for yourself? I'm sure it was not to work 100 hours a week with no work-life balance and no financial freedom. What am I talking about? I'm talking about building a business that provides value to you and your family now and in the future. You can learn about the eight essential areas of a business that you must build to have a business that can be an asset for your future. Go to wisebusinessadvisors.com and take the Value Builder score. It is free and will deliver your score immediately on how you are doing on building a valuable business for you and your family. Or call me at 772-834-8513 to learn more about the Value Builder system. In the market for a reverse mortgage? Contact Access Reverse, a local company with personalized service in the Bay Area. Call them at 727-347-0305 or visit accessreverse.com for a no-cost, no-obligation consultation. 
They'll come to your home and speak with you about the best options for your reverse mortgage. Plus, they offer the lowest closing costs. Don't just get a reverse mortgage. Get the right reverse mortgage with Access Reverse. Visit accessreverse.com. NMLS number 4566. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years years in multiple categories. Jaeger & Company comes to you with their shop at home flooring sales service and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American made well-born cabinets and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. This report is brought to you by Nuance Document Imaging. If your employees leave a document sitting at the printer, it can be seen by the wrong person, and that means a significant risk for the company. Gain control over the business documents in your organization. Nuance.com slash gain control. From the Bright House Network's Traffic Center. Look out for delays westbound along the Causeway Boulevard just west of 50th Street due to an accident approaching Maritime Drive. Southbound Veterans Expressway slow from Ehrlich Road to Waters Avenue. Also look out for delays westbound along I-4 from the Selman Connector into 275. If you see traffic problems, call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Uterick. Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line 866-545-9595. <laughs> Today, a 70% rain chance, especially inland, high 83. Tonight, lingering showers, low 71. Tomorrow, 40% rain chance, high 84. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNC. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. Welcome back, everybody, to That Business Show, where business becomes show business. Keep in mind, you can find this show on here weekdays at 8 a.m. here on 1250 WHNZ. And this show is a show with a positive message about all our business owners, entrepreneurs, political leaders and people making a difference in and around the Tampa Bay community. So please tune in each and every weekday at 8 a.m. here on 1250 WHNZ. Also, you can catch the show streamed live in studio over at tampabayradio.com. There is a link on the homepage for the live stream, so you can catch us here live in studio and listen anywhere in the world on the Internet via the iHeart uh, Radio app on your phone or online as well. I uh, currently talk with uh, Frank Matola. He is the founder of Brandtastic. Learn more about his company over at Brandtastic. One.com. And in the first segment, we're talking all about SEO, what that is, how search engine optimization helps, you know, position your website to be noticed and rank effectively on Google. Mm -hmm. And so, and so Frank, I want to come back to the history of your company and, and your experience. Talk to me about, you know, Brandtastic's uh, uh, path, to, you know, or how you got you know, into this business. Sure. I've owned my own business my entire life, right out of college. I joined my dad's company. And he had a graphics company, and we did a lot of uh, design work and ended up doing a lot of branding. I've designed over 500 brands in my career. That led to doing brochures and different types of collateral uh, type pieces, uh, trade show exhibits, did all kinds of crazy stuff. Around 1997 or 8, I had uh, realized that, you know, the web's there. So we did a website, and... So you did your first website in 97? Yeah, yeah back when so. You, you don't want to look at it, but <laughs> if, you, if you do want to look at something, you can actually go to, uh, what the heck is it? It's archive.org, uh, Wayback Machine. If you just type in the Wayback Machine, you can look at any site from really? any point in the past. I remember kind of the early days of the internet uh, as uh, it started to come to uh, to the mainstream back when I was a junior in high school and I really didn't start to use the internet on a regular basis until after my first uh, stint in college. I didn't buy my first computer uh, until I was uh, 23 or 24. My parents had a cheap one and I toyed around with the internet a little bit but I never thought it would yeah. become that big. You know, the old AOL, AOL, yes, things. AOL, and uh, <laughs> I remember we had a. I remember uh, we had this little uh, local uh, internet uh, connection where we would dial up, and people from around Elkins, Elkins, West Virginia, where I'm from, we would play games amongst each other, and uh, that was I can remember the early dial-up yeah. system, and it was just a local number, and there was probably like twenty or thirty people on there, and he played all these stupid little games. You know, we you throw food at each other, and you get points for that, and uh, <laughs> look what it blossomed into, and. Uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. So anyways, around 2000, I started taking it seriously and started doing work for clients. And back then, it was fairly easy to rank well. You know, pretty much if you had a website, you were ahead of your competition. Today, that's, of course, a lot different. 
And probably five years later, I started really getting into the science of SEO, and we added that to our marketing mix. We do a complete mix of, uh, you know, still do branding, we do PR, we do uh, social media management, we do blog and content management. Yeah, Many, so I'll make, make, it, make it clear to the to people that are listening. I mean, you're more than just SEO. That's going to be the main yeah, topic. But of this. I love SEO. I love being able to help a client rank at the top for the things that they want to be found for. And a lot of SEO people are starting to say, well, that's impossible. We should just look at, you know, the conversions on your website and don't concentrate on those rankings. Well, that just means that they can't do it, apparently, because... For my clients, we typically have over 200 different keyword phrases that we do try to rank for. They're not all going to be number one, but we're going to increase those qualified visits to their website that turn into customers. Now, we had talked in the first segment, we touched on meta tags, and then we, we're, we got back onto the SEO topic. Right. Uh, but let's, what, are, what are meta tags? What do people need to know when they're setting up their website again for the first time, and we touched on meta tags? Let's, let's talk a little okay. bit more about this. All right. The technical side of it, now, this may bore some people, and I hope the, the ones that are interested will, will go to a resource page that I put up. What was that site again? I'm going to be covering a lot of stuff. And you can find it all at IncreaseTampa.com. IncreaseTampa.com. And, of course, we'll get that up on the show recap after the show. But go ahead. Okay. So the meta tags are the hidden code that is on your website that tells Google what the page is about. Now, Google wants you to complete this data, but many times customers don't understand that or web designers don't they, they they ignore that side of it they only show the side that the the, the person's going to see the user's going to see well to get found you need to complete all this meta metadata <clears throat> now using a wordpress site there's that plugin that allows it to be just filled into a field so you have three fields basically on that plugin one is for your title tag one is for your description tag you can also add your keyword tag. And the title tag is the most important tag of all of them. And it's really telling Google in 55 characters what the page is about. If you were to have ABC Construction Company as your title tag, then you'll rank for ABC Construction Company, but you won't rank for general contractor Tampa, which so does is each, does what each, you want to rank for. Does each page of your website then have a title tag? So exactly. if you have a multi, so I'm thinking title, I'm thinking, okay, just one place, but a no. website is multi-pages, and you got to think about That's this. That's a from big each. mistake people make is they look at, they make them all exactly the same. And the worst thing is when they're all exactly the same and they're all not effective. So it's the name of the company shouldn't be the title tag. Okay. Now, the next most important tag is the description tag. That can be about 160 characters. Again, it's page specific. So if on your page this construction company has something about building churches, then you would be having that description tag talk about that. And you're not going to say, we build the best churches that are, you know, we've been around for 40 years. You want to concentrate on those keywords that are going to end up helping Google understand what the page is about. It still needs to be readable, both of these, because they will show up in the search results. The blue headline that you see many times is your title tag, and the little snippet of information is your description tag. Now, Google sometimes changes that around, but uh, I should mention for people who don't use WordPress, they can go in and, and, and one of their browsers and look at view source, and you can look at the code now, you may think it looks like Greek, but just look near the top and look for the meta description, the meta title, and you'll see what's on your website now. Yeah, and, and you get that by going to any page and you right-click on the page, right, and view source. Yeah, depending yeah, that, on what browser you use. Right, that's an Internet Explorer platform. one right there. But, yeah, a lot of people don't Internet realize Internet Explorer, that. is that still available? I thought that was <laughs> We're, I know John, who runs the stream, uh, hates uh, Internet Explorer, as do uh, many uh, uh, website professionals. It's definitely uh, it's got its quirks, and uh, I deal with them uh, every single day with the different uh, sites and, and things like that. A lot of times, I know certain things i got to go to Google Chrome for. Uh, yeah, Chrome is really the best there's there's so many different plugins you can use too with chrome but the, the meta description and the meta tag and tag are the best uh, ways to, to optimize your site 
Keywords has been devalued a little bit by Google, but I, I don't believe things that Google says. Uh, so we still do a keyword tag. After that, there's three header tags that are important, header 1, header 2, or H1, H2. Uh, the alt tag is based on photos. So every photo can be tagged with words describing what the photo is. So it's just a, a lot of work, again, that needs to be done correctly on every page to help you rank better. Yeah, this is some great information. And, and coming back from the break, I'm going to ask you specifically uh, some specific questions about my own website and what I should be doing uh -oh. on each of the pages. And uh, also about how I told you how my website is put together, how that may affect search engine optimization. Uh, and again, that website being tampabayradio.com. Uh, if you're just tuning in, we're talking with Frank Matola, uh, SEO expert and founder of Brandtastic. Learn more about him and his company over at brandtastic1.com. Again, brandtastic1.com. And if you're just tuning in, you've been listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Hi, welcome to Yeagers. We just want to take a minute and show you what we're all about. Uh, at Yeagers, our primary business is hardwood flooring, although we are remodelers for kitchen, bath, and general construction. We operate a fleet of shop-at-home vans that have all the flooring-type products, hardwood flooring, laminate flooring, tile, stone, what have you. So we're able to come out first with products in our vehicles and take a look at the setting, how the colors will work, and then to be able to come up with some options and ideas for you. If that's not good enough, we have a large distribution center that we inventory product and have a nice display area. Good news for the environment. BASF. We create chemistry. You're running your business, and we at Wix.com know things can get stressful. But creating your website doesn't have to be. With Wix, you can create a professional website all by yourself. It's easy and free. You don't have to be a programmer. Just drag and drop everything into place. It's your website, your style. Show the world what you can do. Go to Wix.com and create your own stunning website today. It's easy and free. I'm consumer investigator Dale Cardwell. Price is what you pay, but value is what you get with Aries Roofing Services of Tampa Bay. Aries Roofing Services never cuts corners and takes pride in all their roofing projects. I've done the research. Aries Roofing are professionals who provide reliable roofing replacement and repairs with personal attention you deserve. For all your roofing needs, you can trust Aries Roofing Services. Call or visit online today for your Trustdale deal. Trustdale.com. This report is brought to you by Nuance Document Imaging. Scanning a document has made life at the office so much easier. Unfortunately, it's also easy to scan a document and email it to the wrong address by accident. Gain control over your printers and reduce the risk. Nuance.com slash gain control. From the Bright House Network's Traffic Center. Look out for delays westbound along the Causeway Boulevard just west of 50th Street due to an accident approaching Maritime Drive. Southbound Veterans Expressway slow from Ehrlich Road to Waters Avenue. Also look out for delays westbound along I-4 from the Selman Connector into 275. If you see traffic problems, call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Uterwick. Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line 866-545-9595. <laughs> Today's forecast, a strong chance of a shower, 70% rain chance in the Bay Area, going up to 83. Tonight, a few lingering showers heading down to 71. Tomorrow, a 40% rain chance with the high 84. 1250 winds, WHNZ. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. Welcome back, everybody, to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Learn more about the show over at tampabayradio.com. And keep in mind, you can find the show live on the airwaves on 1250 WHNZ each and every weekday at 8 a.m. And this show is all about business ownership, entrepreneurs, uh, political leaders, people making a difference in and around the community. 
And uh, as always, on each and every show, I extend an invite to uh, fellow uh, business owners and entrepreneurs and people in and around the community that have a good story to tell are also uh, welcome to uh, chime in and uh, let me know what you're doing and uh, I might get you up here on the uh, show. There is no fee for a guest appearance, so don't let that stop you from contacting me. Uh, the show has been a great success so far, and I've met a lot of very uh, influential and exciting people. And the uh, best way to get me uh, for that is to send me an email, jamie at tampabayradio.com. Again, jamie at tampabayradio.com and you can also contact me through my contact form on the site tampabayradio.com as well uh, currently in studio Frank Matola he is the founder of Brandtastic and so we've been talking a lot about SEO and and how to get your website positioned you know on the, in those, the number one page there on Google and, and how to have a powerful website presence which is so important and, and, and Frank going into the break there we're talking about meta tags and title tags and all that fun type of stuff and you're talking about the importance of, of that because that's what Google is looking at to because uh, that's basically how your site talks to Google. It says, hey, Google, my site, uh, this page is all about this. Exactly. And, and a lot of people overlook that. And so I'm, you know, for my own uh, benefit here, I'm thinking, all right, my site, Tampa Bay Radio, has a lot of uh, pages. One of the things that I do after each show is I take the uh, the guest show cards and I put them over on the guest network page and then I embed the YouTube video onto my site and so each a show has its own page so I should be going into and let me ask you should I be going into the page title tags and putting a description of what that episode was about to help that YouTube video come up better in search engines definitely you're gonna have such a variety of things featured because you have so many yeah. different guests yeah, I mean, I have tons of pages because each show has effective. its own page, and yeah, that's something I don't do. Yeah, and but you want to have a commonality that gives you a benefit too, because you know, obviously, you don't want to rank for SEO in Tampa. You want to rank for uh, business radio show mm -hmm. or business show, right? So it would just have to be tailored, but it definitely should be done. You, you never want to overlook this uh, this type of to work. And before I forget, I wanted to mention, come, so coming up tomorrow, we have a major update from Google that okay. is going to slam a lot of people. At least they're, they're promising that it might. What now, is this? Yeah. I think I know what you're talking about, but go ahead. Yeah, it's, it's mobile friendly. If your site is not mobile friendly, you're not going to rank as well on a phone when someone does a search. And they're really going to favor the mobile friendly results. Now, to be mobile friendly, you can set up what's called a responsive website which is really the best way to go so that every page on your site it ends up being transferred to a mobile version. So if you had a screen on your browser and you dragged the corner and made it smaller, it would transform as you moved it and made it smaller into a slim version. Everything would stack up. The other way to get a mobile uh, readiness is to have a designated mo mobile site. So <clears throat> when uh, someone visits you it will redirect to your mobile site but Google has a page where you can test your site I don't know the exact address but if you were to search a Google friendly um, test page you can go there and enter your URL it's probably yeah, you know, there's really sites for that. right now. But. Yeah, there's sites for I got probably just Google it, mobile friendly site test or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's very because simple. I, I've done that. Now, people that use WordPress, those sites are they pretty much set up to uh, be mobile friendly. I think that's one well, of the they're, advantages. They're easier to set up, and many of the themes that you can use with WordPress have a setting that will allow a responsive theme or uh, create a small mobile site, but. Not all of them are. Like I say, 40% of all the sites are, are going to flunk that test. We're still going to see how it all shakes out. It's happening worldwide, and it's starting tomorrow. And it will probably take a week to really sink in. Okay. Now, getting back over to the the different type of meta tags, are these something that are, you know, with a, just a brief tutorial, is this something that's easy to go into and do? I mean, I'm the type of person that I like to do a lot of my stuff to self, and can I go into each page and then just type in, you know, meta tag, a title tag, description well, tag? Well, I'm sure that the platform you use does have that option. It does, but I've looked at it, yeah. and I was like, I don't know what I'm doing on these sites. Okay. So I, well... But, do I think each research. page, yeah, I think each page has a, a box for that to come up. Yeah. So I need to be putting those. Now the H tags are usually a little more difficult, and they typically need to be done with a, a, the editor view. So you're looking at the code view, and you know every platform's a little different. But people who get lost in all this, you can download HTML editors, which will allow you to look at the code view if you don't have a WordPress site, 
And if you do have one, you just switch to code view and you can look at it. Or if you're in the many of the drop downs, you can actually select H1, H2. So, but the th major ones, the, the title and the description, most all platforms are going to have that ability. Now, there's a, a plugin that, not a plugin, it's an online application that you can download called Screaming Frog. Great name. Yeah. And that will actually allow you to look at all the data in one shot. You can download it as an Excel file. And so you can see all your page titles in one shot. You can see all your descriptions in one shot. You can see the number of characters. So it allows you to give a, a whole look at overall what, where you're falling short, where you have duplicate titles. So you can work on that Excel sheet and do all your work and then go on to the site and fix it up. Okay. Now let's say I come to you for this service. Uh, again, learn more about Frank over at Brandtastic1.com about SEO. And there's, he does a lot more than just SEO. So don't, don't think that's the only thing that he does. But again, Brandtastic1, the number one dot com. So talk to me about how your services work if I were to come to you. Is this a one-time thing that you do for the site? Is there something, is this a monthly thing that you got to keep redoing? Is it kind of once it's set, it's okay? How does that work? Yeah, people tend to think of SEO as being a monthly thing. Unfortunately, there's a lot of companies out there that are just churning customers and they're charging f by the month. They're charging less than it takes to hire a real expert, but all they're doing is pushing a button and generating a report that tells how, you know, different statistics and stuff. So the customer gets a report and they think, well, they must be doing something. Well, you want to find out what your SEO company is doing. Because if you have a site that is adequately marked up with the proper code, has a lot of good content, and it should be ranking well, to do the ongoing SEO, it's really all about creating more content. So blogging does that because you're adding new pages all the time and managing social media in an effective way, both of which you're doing well. So I think that your rankings are going to probably do quite well because you're doing all the right things, <coughs> you know, except for, you know, getting your, your tags in order. Right, yeah, I but, don't do that. And I asked you, uh, as you were, we were talking before the show, another thing that I do that I probably need to fix is my site, Tampa Bay Radio, is actually masked. It's actually masking my Tampa Bay REO site, the site that I've had for seven years, and it's just I market Tampa Bay Radio because that's the brand that I'm trying to build. So when people go to Tampa Bay Radio, they see Tampa Bay Radio when they go to each page, it stays Tampa yeah, Bay Radio, sure. but it's really Tampa Bay REO, and for people that aren't familiar with that acronym REO stands for real estate owned it's a term that banks use internally to describe the real estate they own internally for a foreclosure and so for seven years I was you know I, I and still am a real estate professional at sales bank owned properties but I need to separate the two sites but am I losing right now uh, the search engine optimization by having that site masked as opposed to being the actual site well t technically it's just a forward to your REO site. Correct. Yeah, I need so to the invert content them. is not yeah, I need to uh, invert posted it. on that right. domain. So it typically will not rank on its own, but there are exceptions to that. For instance, uh, in, I have some specific domains for towns, mm -hmm. and they rank well in local results because of the efforts I've made to do that. So... You can get away with it, but it's better to have each one hosted with its own content because really the content you're doing on the radio show doesn't really relate to the real estate all that much. Yeah, so. it's definitely been on my to-do list to, to do another site, and uh, but yeah, yeah the, obviously moving the up, content is not a big deal, no, no, really, it's not. You know? No, it's something that's definitely on my uh, bucket list. But I was always wondering, am I am I losing you know results and and search engine optimization because of the way that I'm doing this right now? So like yeah, I said, definitely. Tampa Bay Radio. If you go there, you'll notice on each page as you go through the site it says Tampa Bay Radio the pages don't change but that's called masking a site exactly. and, and yeah. it's something that I did as I started to uh, set up the, this new business so you talked uh, a little bit about uh, the scams out there with SEO you see a lot of you know SEO experts and the scams oh, out there gosh, what are yeah. some of the things people need to be aware of when they're searching for uh, experts in this field so to speak well it's really unfortunate because it gives people who really practice uh, the science a, a bad name but You'll get the phone calls, you'll get the emails promising uh, high rankings on Google. One of the worst ones, it, it sounds like Google's calling. They'll say that uh, they need to speak to the owner. You know, it's urgent. It's regarding your Google listing, and it's not properly claimed. Call this number or press one, 
you know, but really it's just a company that's doing work that you could do yourself and probably going to charge you much more than they need, you need to. You know, when that, they're talking about a Google local page, it's called Google My Business now. Every business should be claiming that page. And again, I'm covering so much stuff in a short time here. Go to increasetampa.com. Mm -hmm. You'll see 10 steps to better web marketing. Step number seven is SEO, but there are a lot of other things that you need to put in order in order to do now, well. Now, can people come to you, though, and pay? I mean, you have, do you have monthly plans, annual plans, uh, one-time plans? How does Brandtastic yeah, that's, work? Back to the question you asked earlier, mm -hmm. a new client. We just went to a trade show. We came away with two, uh, three new clients. Two of them I'm going to visit in person. I like to visit in person. I do work all over the country. I do my own photography, although I may be using uh, Rick to do some work, too. Uh, <laughs> Rick uh, Tassada in studio, my uh, show photographer. <laughs> I'll learn more about him, RickTassada.com. <laughs> or actually, Tassada. I, 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 I can never get your accent right. It's Tassada. Tassada. <laughs> so, go ahead. So I like to visit the client. I like to have in-person meetings about our strategy, about the content, learn about their company, spend a few days with them, then I come back with all the, the ammunition that I need to build a great site. To me, a great site needs to tell the company's story in a human way with real pictures of them doing their work. So it's not all about Google. It's about the people that are visiting the site. Now, if you don't please Google, nobody's going to find a site. But So you build that core site, and I mean at least 30 pages. Usually my sites are 30 to 50 pages. And you do all your local optimization. There's something called citations that we didn't even touch on that need to be done in order to rank locally. But you do all that work. Typically, it takes about four months. Then you drop it, and you end up ranking well within a month or so. After that, it is the ongoing work that I talked about, which is running a blog and running social media. Once the SEO is done correctly and the site has a lot of good content, there's really nothing you need to keep on doing to it, you know, other than tracking the results, which we do. Yeah, and I think you just covered the, the question I was about to ask there about how long will it take to see results if I implement an SEO marketing plan? And I think you touched on that. You're saying about a month to see effective results? Sometimes it can take longer. It can take three months, but I, I've seen results in as little as two weeks. It all depends on how competitive the market is and uh, what kind of changes you're making. For instance, if you had an existing WordPress site that wasn't marked up with any proper uh, meta tags and had poor content, if you went in there and, and fixed it up and it was in, in not a very competitive market, you could rank very quickly. But the others are more of a battle. So when you do a search on Google, you'll see a number at the top that says how many uh, similar searches there are. So if that number's in the tens of millions, you're, you're going to have a harder, harder job than if it's in the uh, tens of thousands. Right. I've got to take a, a quick break, but I want to touch on that. Uh, what was that? Uh, citations. I want to touch on that in Definitely. this last segment Very here. So, so, yeah, stay tuned. If you're just tuning in, uh, we're talking with Frank Matola, founder of Brandtastic. Learn more about him and his company over at brandtastic1.com. And, again, you're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Are you looking for a local real estate firm that knows the market and has your interests in mind? Then contact Jim McPeak at McPeak Real Estate Firm, a family-owned business whose agents have over 60-plus years of experience in the Tampa Bay market. Many of the agents are military veterans that know the VA process for buying a home and are proud to help our military members in any way they can. From residential to commercial real estate, McPeak Real Estate Firm is here to help. Contact Jim at 813-495-3875 and learn more at McPeakTeam.com. Bud Spriggs and Movement Mortgage want you to experience the thrill of one-day underwriting and the comfort in knowing your loans will be clear to close in record time. While a competition looks to a lost closing date, Bud Spriggs and Movement Mortgage focus on their 12-day clear to close. They do this by utilizing their world-class operations staff to underwrite your loan within six hours, process your loan in 12 days, and have your loan closed in time. 
underwritten in six hours. Cleared to close in 12 days. Bud Spriggs and Movement Mortgage. Hey there, it's Lynn Wise, the founder of Wise Business Advisors and Contractor Business Alliance. I'm a certified value builder advisor, and I help business owners build a company that will allow them to have the business that they dreamed of when they started. Why did you go into business for yourself? I'm sure it was not to work 100 hours a week with no work-life balance and no financial freedom. What am I talking about? I'm talking about building a business that provides value to you and your family now and in the future. You can learn about the eight essential areas of a business that you must build to have a business that can be an asset for your future. Go to wisebusinessadvisors.com and take the Value Builder score. It is free and will deliver your score immediately on how you are doing on building a valuable business for you and your family. Or call me at 772-834-8513 to learn more about the Value Builder system. In the market for a reverse mortgage? Contact Access Reverse, a local company with personalized service in the Bay Area. Call them at 727-347-0305 or visit accessreverse.com for a no-cost, no-obligation consultation. They'll come to your home and speak with you about the best options for your reverse mortgage. Plus, they offer the lowest closing costs. Don't just get a reverse mortgage. Get the right reverse mortgage with Access Reverse. Visit accessreverse.com. NMLS number 4566. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years. Years in multiple categories. Jaeger and Company comes to you with their shop at home flooring sales service, and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American made well born cabinets, and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. This report is brought to you by Nuance Document Imaging. If your employees leave a document sitting at the printer, it can be seen by the wrong person, and that means a significant risk for the company. Gain control over the business documents in your organization. Nuance.com slash gain control. From the Bright House Network's Traffic Center. Looking for an accident westbound Causeway Boulevard just west of 50th Street. Also a problem eastbound on the Selman Expressway between Euclid Avenue and Beta Bay Boulevard. This wreck blocking up your right lane. Heavy traffic across the Howard Franklin Bridge and the Gandy Bridge making your way into Tampa this morning. If you see traffic problems, call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Uterwick Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line 866-545-9595. <laughs> Today, a 70% rain chance, especially inland, high 83. Tonight, lingering showers, low 71. Tomorrow, 40% rain chance, high 84. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. Welcome back, everybody, to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Find the show on here weekdays at 8 a.m. here on 1250 WHNZ and learn more about the show over at tampabayradio.com. Currently in studio talking with Frank Matola. He is the founder of Brandtastic, uh, a web uh, site development company, SEO company. They do a lot of stuff. So uh, we've been talking a lot about SEO on the on the show today, but they do a lot more than just uh, SEO. So don't let that uh, uh, confuse you if you're in the need for uh, any type of website assistance. I invite you over to uh, their website, Brandtastic1.com. That's the number one, Brandtastic1.com. And also you can get some great resources on SEO and more over at IncreaseTampa.com. Uh, Frank put that out there. And just uh, put that out there just a moment ago, and in the last segment, uh, Frank, we were talking. You mentioned uh, citations as a, another component yes. of SEO. I had never heard this. Uh, talk to me about what those citations aren't are. Things that the officer gives you on the way <laughs> to the studio. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yes. Just put those in your glove compartment and keep them. <laughs> uh, citations are basically just listings on uh, places like Yellow Pages, Merchant Circle, Yelp, uh, Kudzu. There's when we work with a client, we do 70 of them, believe it or not. And we want to do that before we do the Google, Yahoo, and Bing, if possible. Now, if you already have your my business page on Google, then we just wait until we fully optimize it until we've done the others. The reason is that Google will, when, they, when you submit your local for them, they'll look at all the other stuff, and they'll give you... Uh, you know, power because you have all these other listings. So on these listings, as you know, you can also add reviews. Yellow page reviews are taken into consideration by Google. So citations are extremely important. We build a, a worksheet that doesn't have to be uh, different on every one. 
So we have a worksheet, we just copy and paste, have about 10 photos ready because some of them allow you to add photos. And of course, you're going to put name, address, phone number. It's called the NAP, the same on everything. Your URL is going to be there. And at that resource page, if you go to the citations section, there's a, a link there that will be direct links to all 70 of the sources that we use. So if you want to do that yourself, you can go there and have at it. Interesting. And another uh, topic that uh, just came to mind, something I found out just playing with the back end of my uh, website, sitemaps. Uh, things that, Very uh, that, important. Yeah, sitemap, uh, when I went into the back end of my uh, uh, website development, I saw build a sitemap. And uh, tell me what a sitemap is specifically for the listeners. Well, it's telling Google, again, more information about your website. It will index every page. And it'll list it so that Google can easily see how many pages and if you use WordPress, Yoast also has a plugin for that, and it will update it automatically. So when you add a new page to your blog, it's already on your sitemap XML index. And if you don't use WordPress, you can ha go to a free sitemap generator and then upload it to your website. And all of that is a part of Webmaster Tools, another free Google service that you need to take advantage of along with Google Analytics. And Webmaster Tools is about the healthier website. So you upload that sitemap. Then you can go in there and check how many pages were indexed by Google. How many did they feel were you know, good enough to put in their index? So if you had 50 pages and you had 45 in the index, that's great. If you only had 20, then there's probably a problem with your content. Yeah, and I, I, there's just so much stuff to know in the in this field, and I've taught myself, you know, basic stuff, you know, and I've learned more yeah. even today. And this stuff seems or is just so overwhelming. I'm sure the average uh, listener that's out there who has a basic site, you know, has probably been introduced to a lot of new terms today. So obviously, uh, that's a plug to contact a professional such as yourself. Talk to me about uh, the results that you have gotten for customers uh, sure. through your company. Well, that's what I love. I love helping a business do better. Typically, when we work with a client, it's not a new company. It's not a startup. It's not their first website. Generally, it's their second or third website because they've realized that they need to get results from the web, but they're not getting them. If you look at, uh, I ask them how their website's doing, they'll, they'll say fine. They don't really know. You got to put Google Analytics on it, which we do first as a benchmark so we can measure that against the results we get. Typically, we're going to increase visits at least 300%. Many times we've had increases of 15 or 1600%, which they're thrilled with. Mm -hmm. uh, to see a real result live right now, you could go to your computer and search Pool Cleaning Orlando. Now, we did that site in 2011, and he's had this ranking ever since then. He has number one, number two, and number three. So we're kind of monopolizing the first page, but he loves it. He's had to hire two new guys, two separate new routes, so his, his income has increased tremendously. That's incredible. So pool cleaning uh, Orlando, and yep. they, you helped build his site. How I'm many, pretty uh, proud of that one. Yeah. Now, how many other uh, customers have uh, helped you through the years? How many years have you been in business with Brandtastic? And uh, talk to me a little bit more about uh, some of the other success stories that you've had. Well... Brandtastic has been about eight years. Before that, it was just another name, but uh, I just love that name because it's making your brand fantastic. But mm -hmm. So generally, if you go to our site, there's many pages where it will show you the actual rankings. I'm not afraid to show people a list of what we rank for. So there's a company in Fresno, California. If you were to type in Fireplaces Fresno, he's number one on local and on organic. Uh, he also has a stone company, uh, Stone Yard. So for that particular company, there's a lot of different specific products that he sells, manufactured stone, uh, natural stone. He actually ranks for over 200 different keywords at number one, and his business has also increased. Before we worked with him, he had a horrible website that was not showing up anywhere except his hometown of Clovis. California, so right. I had some great uh, information, and uh, Frank, we got about a minute left here, and everything. So I want to put out the uh, resources uh, that you uh, gave us uh, earlier in the show. IncreaseTampa.com, right? What can we get on that site? A lot of resources for what? Everything. You can talk about the, the way you build your website, what you put on it, social media advice, uh, obviously SEO, reviews, 
There's uh, citations. There's a, a wealth of information. There's also a video that I just put up yesterday from a appearance in Lakeland at the chamber. All right. Hey, we've got to wrap that up here. We're about to hit the end of the show. But, Frank, very okay. uh, great uh, information. Me, hey, some great information. I'm definitely going to be using that resource uh, when I get back uh, to my office today and looking that over. So, Frank, thank you very much for coming in today. Uh, if you're just tuning in, we are talking with uh, Frank Matola on today's show. He is the founder of Brandtastic. And learn more about him over at brandtastic1.com. And also make note of that sort a resource page over at increasetampa.com. I hope everybody's off to a great start here this early Monday morning. And be sure to tune in tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. on That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business.